Quilly, what did you see on the on the pick six on the, the one, and I guess ended up winning the game. To be honest, I really didn't see anything. I just played where Coach White wanted me to, and just God blessed me with the opportunity to catch the ball and take it to the end zone. Have you ever played in a game where the defense forces six turnovers like that? To be honest, no. That's just unbelievable. Our defense is on fire tonight. Against a brand school like Florida State, do you think that sends a message to the rest of the nation moving forward about how good your defense can be? It shows how the potential for our defense, to how strong we're going to become because we are very young and still inexperienced, and we're going to learn so much over the years. Cole, you were almost kicked out of the game earlier in the first quarter, and then you balled out the rest of it. Did that kind of like wake you up and get you going? Were you frustrated by that? Uh, not really. I mean, I knew it wasn't targeted, and then after that, it was kind of like the, the jump start. It got us going, you know, everybody's all riled up, and it showed. What do you think it meant for Tony White coming back here and um, his first game as a defensive coordinator? Have you guys played as well as you guys did? Uh, it, I, it means the world to you know us because he, he has been with, with us since last year, and from him, uh, or from just a, a safety DB coach to DC, I feel like we owed him. Man, for sure. As a senior, has it hit you guys really yet that this is it for Sun Devil football and just your overall emotions and just how this week has been and just getting a win in the bowl game? Uh, yeah, this is our this is the first bowl game I went to and that we won, you know, in the last I've been for five years, so it, it, it's great. I mean, we got a little emotional after the game, but it's alright. Right. Question, question, Christian. Um, you, so you start the year as a reserve. Uh, before you know it, you're you're, you're, you're the full time star at kicker. You end the season with a with an MVP trophy. Just talk about this 2019. How how crazy it was for you? How hard was it to navigate through all the challenges? Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of ups and downs, but I think um, for a whole unit, it just shows how strong we've been working. Um, my snapper Eric Dickerson and holder Kevin Macias have been working. They just put the ball down for me and made it easy. Christian just scored. 12 of the 20 points over your team. Was that, was that a lot of pressure or just the situation? You were ready to rise to the occasion or what? Yeah, I was just ready. I uh, just wanted to end the season strong. Uh, praise the Lord. Just show, just glorify the Lord with all, with all I can do. And uh, that's just what happened. You like sore? A little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw the two-point conversion, but there was like eight defenders around Jaden. Somehow he made it through. Just Did y'all get to see it or... Did you see the play that he made? Yeah, that's why I said Jay need to put on weight, man. I don't know. <laughs> I see how that play. But, yeah, that's a big play by Jay. I don't, I'm not surprised by that play. That dude can do anything with the game on the line. He's going to step up. Like Kobe, did you had uh, Chase went down, Jack went down. You guys didn't have Cam. What does that say about just what you guys were able to do in the secondary in a game like this? That's just our coaches getting everybody ready. Everybody, like, we, that's all we talked about. Preparing for the game, just like uh, everybody can play, anybody can play, you can step up any time. And when the game was on the line, you got to be ready. But them guys, man, I just tell them every day it's a game. Go out there and play, even playing since you was little. So you go out here, it's your opportunity. I was just keeping them poised, being the captain of the defense, and letting them play ball. It's a real nerve wracking game. I mean, when you know the margin of error is, is so small, you go into halftime only with a with a nine zero lead. Then you got the two uh, two big plays. The game kind of turns sideways a little. How hard is it to play in a game like that? Yeah, you just keep it poised and, and just build the momentum. That's what we do. We just want to be that that unstoppable defensive out there and just play hard and keep playing. We don't like you can't worry about the offense and what they're doing. They're gonna have their struggle sometimes, like just like we did in the season. So we just go out there, help them out, and just. When Florida State took the lead, though, what was being said on the sideline to make sure that you guys, you know, didn't just call it quits and keep playing? It was a big play. Uh, they had two big plays in the game, and just you know, we don't make them drive and keep playing our game. I just went over there and put everybody heads up and just tell them let's keep going, let's play, let's ball, let's D V and D on never move or something like that, anything. That's just ball, and them guys are gonna make plays. They're athletic. We knew that's athletic coming to the game, so just keep going. Okay, what does it mean to you to be a Sun Devil? It means everything. It was great. Just Sun Devils gave me an opportunity. I never thought I would come. Being underrated as a corner, just like I'm still in, and just keep proving. And they gave me the, the stage to do it. Kaylin, it seemed like Coach White really turned you guys loose early on. You guys were in the backfield a lot. Um, what did you think about just your, the approach to the game and how you guys executed? Um, he got us prepared really well. I mean, we had a whole month to really prepare so. We were very detailed in what we were doing, and then he, he got the play call in for us and told us to go. 
I mean, A B before the game told us this could be a stat game for you guys if you want it to be. I said now was the mindset since then. Okay, well, what since you've been here, how how has the program changed from the time you got here to the time you're leaving? Hey, can we go to the next question? I don't want to answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm messing with y'all. Uh, it's changed. It's changed tremendously. I mean, just from going, it's like coming to America, you know, going from <laughs> dictatorship. <laughs> Mark, it's the, just the freedom, you know. He, uh, Coach Harvey allows us to be us, you know. And a couple of years back, we couldn't do that. And, and it, it played a role in, in with the success with the ASU, you know. And I, I feel like him letting the kids be kids, you know, is, is a big, is a big, you know, step for the program. Is Harm the biggest kid though? <laughs> I'll give it to him. Yeah, yeah I'll give it to him. Yeah, superhero. Superhero. <laughs> One more question. A question. Um, how do you feel like when you get close to the end of the game and all you're and all you're doing is basically helping your team out by producing the only points of the game? Do you feel a more uh, increased pressure by being almost the only guy scoring on the team? No, not at all. I know that they um, essentially count on me, but uh, I'm just going to go out there and do what I can do. Thank you, guys.